What is this? Is this freaking... Okay, this is dead when he's young. Is this freaking Germany in the 1940s? What's happening? Freaking bands? You can check out my Patreon for exclusive show reactions, uncut reactions, early access, and other perks. Link is in the description. We are back with Attack on Titan, guys. Last episode was a tragic one, a depressing one. That's just... I got emotional. I usually don't get emotional. I really don't. Like, you guys know I rarely get that emotional. Like, I get sad and I, I feel all the emotion but to be close to like freaking tears that shit's not easy to do the movie i silent voice did it the movie train to busan did it and now one episode in attack on titan did it it wasn't as bad as those two movies like yeah, those two movies really fucked me up but it was close like the the freaking urban death hit me hard man it hit me super hard i was not expecting this because like i said i don't usually get emotional that emotional let me put it that way it's yeah but that just shows you how great the show is and i guess how much i like the character ervin you know some people might not like him that much i think everybody likes him but or most people like him i can't see how you can't like Ervin, but I don't know. I mean, there's I don't know, something for everybody, I guess. Some people might not like him. He just represented something I like in a person. I like having around, you know, passionate people that have a fire inside them that know what they want and that can pass that fire on to people or friends or in that case, soldiers around him, which, you know, made him a great leader. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna miss him a lot. He always got everybody hyped. He got me hyped. He was what you needed when you went out to battle and it's gonna miss. It's gonna miss in future battles that being said i'm happy that armin is back armin did his job he did more than that he sacrificed himself he did what he said he wasn't gonna do he said he was gonna dip out and not be a hero but he did end up being a hero which you know was to be expected i guess i remember him in episode 5 of season 1 when he froze up and couldn't do anything and now this man is just holding on while getting cooked alive talk about progression as a man as a person as a character that is crazy the scouts now have the power of the colossal titan which is a huge deal unfortunately Reiner got away not only the armor titan but the plot armor titan is what wolf told me which makes a lot of sense i think i said in that episode as well you know that's some bullshit luck but i don't know i guess they wanted to get one of them out of there i guess they still have some plans for reiner i don't know i thought he was gonna die with Berthold. that was my prediction but um yeah i guess i was wrong beast titan got away as well levi was on his ass and yeah he almost had him almost had him going towards the end of season three i think wait how many episodes are left two i believe right are there two episodes left yeah there's two episodes no there's more four episodes there's four episodes left including this one okay four episodes left and then season four yeah we're slowly getting through it we're getting there we're getting there we're getting to the meat of things and this episode episode is called the basement so answers a lot of answers let's go i can't wait as always like subscribe comment patreon discord twitch links are down below ladies go to the basement the basement are we finally gonna see it it's been like how many episodes when did they start talking about this like the first episode i feel like oh shit here we go what's this a spiritual's voice Is this like that, you know, transition of the power? Is that what this is? Because he does get his memories, right? Does he get his memories? Ah, I think he does. Yeah, right. that's how it works. No, wait, no. I think only the bloodline of the Rice family gets the full memories. I'm glad you're not a piece of coal anymore. <laughs> how are you going to tell this guy that he's the Colossal? That's crazy. Yeah, so uh, you turned into a piece of coal, then we turned you in a titan, you ate Berthold, and now you can turn into the colossal titan. That makes sense? Alright, let's go get something to eat. <laughs> Look at his face, that poor guy, bro. Traumatic. <laughs> Wow, yeah, literally everybody else got wiped out. Yeah, it's a, like half of a victory. It's a victory, yeah. That has to be so disturbing. Mm-hmm. 
I don't blame you. Even if you were a titan when you did it, you just still just ate a human being. Yeah, they played a major role. That's true. It wasn't just Levi. Yeah, they were ready to throw hands for you. Exactly. Damn, uh, that's his body. Yeah, in the end, he could have still... Levi is a strong-willed person. He did what he thought was right. And you know, when Irvin slapped it out of his hand, when he was like delirious and stuff and like dreaming, that played a major role as well. I think that kind of shook Levi up a little bit. And obviously, er Aaron... I would say Erwin and Aaron, I always mix it up. Erwin and Mikasa played a role as well with, um, you know, sharing their story and trying to convince him. That did something as well. But in the end, if he really thought that the right decision would have been Erwin, then he would have done it. But in his eyes, he changed his mind and it was Armin. Yeah, he he is a strong-willed person. I, would, I trust him to make the decision that he feels comfortable with because... Remember, Erwin gave him the responsibility. He told him, I trust your judgment with this syringe. And yeah, so he, he did what he uh, thought was right. Gotta find a way, gotta keep moving, gotta keep going, keep fighting. Damn. That hurts, huh? Yep. Damn, Haji, you're not making this easy, but it's not easy. You gotta be truthful. First, you told him, yeah, you know, I feel like you should have died and Ervin should be around. Well, it is what it is. Now you bear the responsibility of everything, basically. <laughs> Look at his face, bro. This poor kid, bro. <laughs> That's all shitty. <laughs> Don't look at it like that. Be your own. Be Armin, not Irvin. Exactly. Mm, I remember the Ova, no regrets. It's kind of a callback to that a little bit. Yeah, she's kind of the replacement, but she's also Hanji, a different commander. But she's technically the replacement of the commander. Oh, shit. I mean, the key, I feel like the key is just, why we need the key? Yeah, you don't need a key. You just need to know where the basement is. But I guess it's kind of symbolic. You know, the key's been around since season one. Because I'm pretty sure you can just bust that door wide open. Mm. Yeah, and I guess the key doesn't just represent the key to the basement. Like he just said, it represents the key to humanity, you know, to the truth. So it's more of a symbolic kind of key. Damn, yep. That's sad. They're home. Oh, they're gonna go back to where his mom got buried by her own house. Happy memories as well. I'm glad to see they have some happy memories that they can call back on. Damn. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because back then the biggest problem they had was seeing them drunk and being pissed off at Hannes for being drunk. That was the biggest problem, the biggest issue. And now it just everything went to shit. His mom. Yeah, oh my god. It's like taking a walk through memory lane. But look at their faces. They're like, they're prepared. They're taking it in. They're not breaking. They know what they need to do. Now this is the scene that's gonna be the toughest. Even for me, I'm just having PTSD flashbacks. Like in my mind, I'm just seeing Aaron's mom being ripped apart and eaten by the creepy smile titan. <laughs> Oh, 
What's that? Risha Yeager, having come from outside the walls and thus knowing many secrets, entrusted the basement key to his son. The basement will likely reveal the mysteries of the world, which Risha couldn't mention to anyone yet. Another question as well is if there, if he had the truth this whole time, why didn't he share it, you know, earlier? I'm sure that's a question that will eventually be answered because it's a big one. But he did forget, right? He had memory loss. Like he only remembered his name and that he's a doctor. Maybe that was that was just a lie, you know. Okay. Here we go. I mean, shit, even if. Yeah, I guess it's easier, but even if there's freaking water there, some water is not gonna stop you guys now after all the shit you went through to get there. Shit could be filled with lava and you'd just probably freaking dive into that bitch. <laughs> the key doesn't fit? Shut up, bro. That would be freaking hilarious. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, time to bust it open. Okay. Yep. <laughs> we mean wait. Scared of traps? I guess that's a good fear to have. Could be trap doors and stuff. So the key was not to the basement, but it's definitely to something important. <laughs> Cooking meth, freaking um, Grisha White. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, it's a facade. Yeah, it's always good if you are hiding something, let the people that are looking for it find something. Because if they find something, they'll be happy. But let them find something that has no value to you. Like this, just a normal laboratory and books and stuff. Oh. A wooden cup. Oh, memories. Oh, is that the... Probably... Looks like the same cupboard uh, light uh, hides his uh, death note in. Shut up! <laughs> For those who don't watch Death Note, Light is a character and he literally has a, a fake bottom and uh, his, his death note in there. He also has a flamethrower and shit, so that's funny. <laughs> it's funny that I said it and then there's a false bottom as well. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's smart. Okay. What is it? Me too. Open it up. Shit. Okay, open up together. Let's go. Yeah, this has to be nerve wracking. Because if it's just bullshit and not that important, then that has to be horrible because of all the sacrifices for this. Okay, that's only the first page. Damn, he's right. And Aaron's dad kind of proves that with just showing up randomly. And obviously with Reiner and everybody also coming from somewhere else. Oh shit, they're gonna see nine goddamn people. Oh my god, they're happy now, but... Yeah, they're not gonna talk shit this time. They're different now. They're still gonna be shocked that there's only freaking nine, right? Nine people. It's a photo. They have cameras where they're from. Damn. Okay, let's go. Boom, confirmed. Damn, so why were they there? Why were they put there and kept there and just manipulated? Is this over? No, there wasn't a to be continued. So that means after credit scene. Fake Risha. Okay, his, 
What is this? Is this freaking. Okay, this is dead when he's young. Is this freaking Germany in the 1940s? What's happening? Freaking bands? Or maybe it's not a negative thing. Maybe I'm just, you know, interpreting it negatively immediately. What the fuck? They have freaking the Heisenberg? They have airships? Shit, what's next? Fighter jets? Tanks? Freaking AK 47s? God! PS5? So, Aaron's dad had a sister, a little sister? We haven't met her yet. So she was like left behind when he came to the, the walls. Okay. Damn, so they're not allowed to leave walls either. That's actually ironic as fuck. Oh, this just got super interesting. The hatred and hope reflected in his eyes show Eren Kuruba. So they're talking about his Grisha's hatred? Grisha's hatred and hope reflected in his eyes show Eren a cruel world. Is that what they're saying? Oh, God. What the they got freaking zeppelins. Is that what you call them? Airships freaking floating around. That's crazy because if they have that kind of technology, then they have a lot more. Like I'm talking weapons. I'm talking weapons, weapons. Okay, so Grisha had a sister. Erin has an aunt. She might still be there and they, you know, might one day meet. He lived in a place that was really advanced, which we already kind of got, you know, an, an inkling of that. We kind of got led to there with the coffee thing as well world the photograph and now we saw goddamn airships it's a nice looking city they got nice streets so I, I guess where Aaron and stuff you know come from that those walls they had it was it looked nice you know before shit went off but it looked kind of cozy and stuff it didn't look like just horrible but they're definitely on a different level over there i wonder like how far away that is that they've never seen it not even the scouts when they're you know out there exploring and stuff they've never even seen anything i thought it's kind of ironic that they're not supposed to go outside of the wall so they live in this advanced and technological city that's like luxury and elegant like grisha said but they're also trapped which is kind of ironic, right? They're trapped just like they are trapped. They're not allowed to go outside without their armbands, which I interpreted it as a negative thing immediately because I guess I just kind of remembered history. So I don't know. It just seems like a negative thing because she said you can't go out with them. It's not like they're like wanting to wear them, like that they, they're like a badge of honor. She said you can't. So that's that kind of feels a little iffy like they're you know marking them if they're marking somebody like that it's not gonna be a positive reason i don't feel like I, well, we'll see they finally made it to the basement uh, i feel like next episode we're gonna get even more answers that was a little teaser i'm glad i didn't miss the after credit scene they grabbed all the books they came back home and yeah the people are happy they're cheering they're not complaining that so many scouts died this time they're not talking shit it, it must have been a shock like i said but hey i hope it's worth it and it seems like it is it seems like he wrote a, a whole ass story in that book actually i didn't really look at the photograph i was kind Kinda in awe. Let me look at the photograph. Huh. So that's um Grisha. So hmm, did he have like he had a different wife and kid before? That was his life before he went there. If that's that's definitely his wife and child. That definitely looks like a family photo. Or that's his sister grown up. And no, they wouldn't take a picture like this. That's his he hmm. Well, we'll see. But I'm guessing that might have been his wife before. Interesting. I mean, it wouldn't be far-fetched because he was already not old, but he was, you know, an adult when he came to the walls. And if he lived a life before that, you know, it's not like that far-stretched that he had a family before that as well. So, damn. Okay, I didn't even really look at the picture in that moment. I don't know. I kind of was freaking... Sometimes my mind is just all over the place. Like, it's just... I don't know, you guys know that feeling. <laughs> so we're just gonna hear his story next episode, if they do it next episode. Sometimes they skip around, but we'll see.